Hey, good morning, Funko fam. Uh, on today's video, we're going to discuss some fun stuff. So stay around, find out what we're going to talk about after the intro. All right, so on today's video, let's have some fun. So we got some mail calls. Uh, we got some pre-orders in. I got a trade in. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and dig in and see. So, hey, look at that. All right, so, something I found at Walmart. Something I never thought I'd ever find at store. Huge South Park fan. A lot of my jokes have unfortunate inside references to that, so a lot of folks who don't watch the show don't get them. But, that being said, love this pop. Love picking this up. Love seeing it in store the Osimo 3000. Butter's best friend. Alright, so, next up. Um, this one is a trade. Uh, this is something that I've been patiently waiting for from a viewer. We're going to dig into that next, and then uh, go from there. Alright. There we go. Alright. So this is again this is a trade from a viewer. Uh, this is from uh, my buddy Craig. Uh, he sent me something actually for my birthday. Actually, was the first uh, viewer submission that I ever received from anybody. So it's kind of fitting. We're gonna start the year off with that. Um, so again, Craig, I very much appreciate you getting this to me. Uh, can't can't thank you enough. We'll go ahead and dig in and find out what uh, what he sent. So let's dig in here. Let's see what uh, Walmart well, buddy sent. All right. So we got. Oh, okay, cool. We're gonna just pull it off the box. All righty. Uh, so this is the Back to the Future Pop and Tea combo. Still mint. Still mint. Still sealed. Thank you, buddy. All right. Now there's something else in here. And I'm sure it's not crackers, but it's crackers. All right, so let's 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 see what else is there. You said that there was the trade, which was the pop and tea combo, um, but there was other things in here for the weight. So I just want to say thank you. You know, definitely didn't have to, but I do appreciate it. So we'll go ahead and just do it in here, Mr. Box style. Okay, this feels like a thick one. Um. Uh, Oh shoot, look at that. That is actually super, super cool. So this is my second fig pin. Uh, this one I'll actually keep though. <laughs> okay, next up. It looks like it's a mystery mini Venom. Okay. And it looks like we got Venom eating a taco. I like it. And that is a 1 in 12. Not bad. So it's common. I think. Common. 1 in 6. 1 in 12. 6. So it's like an uncommon. I guess. Based off the numbers. Alright. Last one in here. All right, looks like there's another one. Now these are these are actually open, so don't don't think I'm like cheating you. They're already open, but new to me. So let's see what it is. Okay, that's pretty sick. It's like a Two Faced Spider-Man, and this one also is a one of twelve. So. Pretty sick. It's going to get added to my little shelf that I have for just those guys. So, I think that was... Yeah, that was everything. So, Craig, thank you, my friend. I really do appreciate it. 
Okay, so next up. Uh, order something for the Funko Shop that I missed during ECCC. Uh, I was really surprised to actually see this pop back up, and uh, so I had to grab it. And it is the shared... Perfect, there it goes. It is the shared 4,000 piece faker. This one, though, is still sealed. And will stay sealed. Because I'm digging the whole not knowing if it's a chase or not. So, it's going to join my Freddy uh, as my totally sealed ones. And being low numbered, there's a potential chance it's a chase. Alright. Now, uh, we got a couple more boxes. Uh, one was a pre-order. One was uh, a Sunday drop from... What's it called? Uh, seven bucks. So, the seven bucks has something new in there I want to try and as well as obviously a pop. And the other is just a pre-order that I got from, um, I'm drawing a blank. I will insert where I got this from and or I'll see as soon as I pull the label off. Uh, ha, Plastic Empire. Uh, so the second one is ordered from Plastic Empire. Uh, first one, I first order I got from them uh, was the Ninja Turtle set. Really dug how it was packed and all of that good stuff. So I got another full line pre-order. Uh, so we're gonna dig into that and see what I got. So first off, let's dig into the seven bucks a pop, see what I got there, and then we'll dig into the large box and go from there. Alrighty, seven bucks a pop. Covering up my info, so y'all don't see it. All right. I mean, not that I wouldn't give info out. It's just keep yourself private on on the internet as much as possible, folks. So, so I don't know if they actually ship this inside the other thing or if I've got two in here. But let's take a look. No, it looks like they, they put it inside. So we'll get to see kind of how everything goes. Um, so first up, I got a piece of gum. Oh, I got two pieces of gum. And I like how they shipped this, actually. It's to ensure that it gets here. Uh, had a, I had a little run-in once before, but all seems to be good. Okay. Let's go ahead and dig this out. Open her up. Okay, we've got their when they drop their loots. Definitely check them out. At least at least see if they've got anything you might want. Sometimes you get a good deal. All right. Now, what I got in here doesn't belong in here, <laughs> um, but I got it because I want to put something in a much much more valuable. Um, but what I ended up getting was the corrupted venom that glows in the dark from LA Comic Con. Which you could find the Comic Con version, but just not the Glow version. But I got it in the Pop Armor stack uh, because I want to give it a shot. Now, again, it's got the magnetic lid, which that is actually pretty strong. And it just goes right back into place. Uh, sealed bottom. I'm going to have to say this is a pretty legit, uh, pretty legit case for what it is. I, I had my doubts. Now, gotta be careful getting this out. Wow, these are heavy. The pop itself has a really pretty good shape. It's got a little shelf wear, got a little scratch on the window. Other than that, though, it's not in bad shape. Now, I'm still gonna put that in a hard stack. I'm just gonna put it in one of the uh, general ones. But as you can see, this is my Freddy Funko Superman Freddy. Uh, this bad boy right now, it's running like 450 bucks. So I wanna keep this thing in as nice a shape as possible. So carefully pull him out. All right. Now, from what I've seen with these, you've got to, like, get them lined up and then get them in, like, straight. 
can go slow. And voila. And now Freddy, he's in a good protector. And Venom, it can go in the OG original. And I just gotta tape the lid on. Wow, this one's not taped at all. That I'm surprised about. Okay. So, I like that stack. It's pretty nice. Uh, for the cost, also wasn't bad. Uh, added to it was like 13 bucks. So when you buy one of the other ones for nine, that's 13. It's definitely a step up. Um, but yeah, hope you guys like that. Now, last but not least, got another big wide box from Plastic Empire. Let's go ahead and dig in here real quick and see how this all came. Um, one of them in here for sure, I have another stack for. Um, because I just think it's it's worthy for a hard stack. Uh, everything else has got to get put up in my collection. Again, great packing job. Box within a box. All right, here we go. Hopefully I've already lost you on this video, but um, please make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe. If I've earned your subscription today, uh, hit that bell notification. Uh, it'll let you know every time I drop one of these videos. Um, hopefully you are still enjoying it. And uh, yeah, got to do that uh, customary YouTube plug. Even though you're already watching the video, so you still, still instinctually do it. Okay. five so i ordered like i said i ordered the whole line and Oof. Kind of put this one in cockeyed but no issues all right so first one up is gar saxon Second one up is the record. And yeah, so far box conditions fantastic. Um, third one up, we have Bokatan. And the two heavy hitters that I think are actually going to really appreciate and value over time because the other ones seem to. Um, and again, everybody is just in love with one of the characters. The other one, uh, I know it's a remake, but I dig it. We got Darth Maul, which is my first Darth Maul. I want to try to get a couple of the other ones if I can ever get my hands on them. And then last but not least... I have an Ahsoka with a broken lightsaber. She has no lightsaber. She has the other one. She doesn't have the one in front. So now I gotta reach out and see about getting a replacement. I spoke too soon. Okay. Well, that was everything here, folks. Appreciate it as always. Please, again, like, share, subscribe. Um, I'll let you know how the... Uh, how this turns out and how Plastic Empire wants to handle this. So, um, stay tuned. There'll be a follow-up. And again, like, share, subscribe. Uh, hit a, you know, drop a comment down below. Tell me what you thought of everything that came. Uh, what you think of the Paw Protector. What you uh, think of everything else. And uh, your experience with that company whatnot. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.